My name is Gavin Gray. I'm a 17 year old high school senior and I'm set to graduate in just three months. I'm writing this letter because I haven't had the opportunity to tell my side of the story yet and I'm afraid I will never have the chance. This letter isn't just intended for my family, it's for anyone willing to listen, especially those who do not have an open mind. I have a secret to tell you and I'm sure it's not one you saw coming. But before I get ahead of myself, let me go back to the events earlier tonight. Do you think your parents suspect anything? About us? Well, yeah. No, I don't want to keep it that way. You're not ashamed of me, right? What? No. Why would you even say that? Well, you don't really acknowledge me at school. Only when we're alone. Mia, you're the best thing that ever happened to me. But we have to be careful. Someone like you, someone like me, we're just not supposed to be together. It's not allowed. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm just acting crazy. <laughs> You're not crazy, okay? I love you. Have you considered telling your parents, though? <laughs> no, and I don't think I ever will, to be honest. Well, I don't think they have a problem with it. They love you. Well, we don't know how they react, but once it's out there, it's not like I can take it back. Are you even ready to tell your parents? I see your point. I just thought that maybe if you come out first, then it'll encourage me to do the same. Mia, I'm gonna spend the rest of my life with you, all right? Even if we have to move somewhere else, they'll accept us. Do you ever wish you were normal? And not straight? Uh, well, I guess it'd be easier if I was gay like everyone else, but I'm not. I like girls, especially you, and I never change that. That's who I am. Do you ever wish you were normal and liked girls? Gavin, dinner's almost ready. Hey, didn't you hear me knocking? Sorry, Mom. We were just studying really hard. Uh-huh. All right, well, how about you wrap up your studying and come on down? Mia, will you be joining us? Oh, well, if it is any trouble, then I would love to. Well, my wife always seems to cook for an army, so there'll be plenty of food. Okay, thank you, Mrs. Gray. All right, Mom. We'll be on in a minute. Okay, um, make sure your brother comes down too, please. And make sure he washes his hands, like literally watch him use soap and water, okay? God knows what he's up to in his room by himself all day. Yeah, okay, got it. That was close. Maybe you shouldn't stay for dinner. Your moms are fine. Plus, they're a lot cooler than my dad's are. No, I could tell by her tone. She definitely knew something was up. If she thought something was up, then she would have sent me home. I think we're good. Yeah, I hope so. Okay, now let me show you how much I love you before we have to pretend to be gay again. What's going on in there? Nothing, we're just watching a movie. I thought your TV was busted? On my phone, jackass. Do you have a boy in there? What? No, it's just Mia. A girl? Ew. Ricky! Gavin! Dinner's ready! Tell Mom we'll be right down. We're just finishing up our homework. I thought you were watching a movie. It's for homework. Moms! Gavin and me are making out! That's not funny, Ricky!
That was so needed. This looks delicious, babe. Anything for my beautiful family. Yeah, thanks, Mom. Uh, yes, thank you, Mrs. Gray. This all smells amazing. Oh, Mrs. Gray. Makes me sound so old. You still look just as young and beautiful as the day I met you. Oh, since we first met in high school, you've always known how to sweep me off my feet with your words. Okay, stop. I don't need to hear my mom's getting it on. Oh, please. Once you meet your husband one day, you'll change your tune. I don't want to have a husband. I'm not going to settle with just one guy. When me and my band go on tour, I'm going to get so much ass and be a real player. Not funny. All those dudes you want to tag on your little boy band tour all have real feelings, and you're just going to break their hearts. Hey, I don't make the rules. I just play the game. <laughs> okay, I've heard enough. Everyone eat before the food gets cold. Um... Don't you want to wait for you-know-who? We said dinner was at seven. Who are we waiting for? Oh, speak of the devil! Oh, get it! Who's here? Moms are setting you up on a date. Can you shut up for five minutes, please? I don't have enough wine to deal with any more shenanigans. Gavin and Tanner, sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Tanner? Gavin, you remember Tanner from school? Hey, Gavin. Uh, yeah, of course. Hey. Hey, Mia. I didn't expect you to be here. Hmm. That makes it two of us. Mrs. and Mrs. Gray, thank you so much for having me over for dinner. This looks so fantastic. My dad's order a lot of fast food, so home cooked meal is exciting for me. You are such a sweetheart. But please call me Olivia. Or even mom if you want. Absolutely, Olivia. My apologies. My dad's always taught me to be courteous and respectful. Well, your fathers are both fine gentlemen, and they did a fabulous job raising you. Hopefully some of those good manners will rub off on Gavin. That's not the only thing he's gonna rub on Gavin. Ricky! Ricky. Hey, so I was wondering if you were going to prom. Hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? Tanner was talking to you and you weren't answering. Are you sure you're alright? You look a little flushed. It's probably just all that homework. Our teachers has really been piling up on us. I can vouch for this since we all have class together. It's a big assignment. What's this assignment you're all working on? It's for our political science class. We have to pick a current issue in today's news and come up with facts and opinions for both sides of the subject. And what topics are in the news lately? I don't have time to keep up with how busy work's been. Uh, legalizing marijuana, border registration, opposite sex marriages. And there you have it. Schools these days pushing their new age agenda bullshit down these poor kids' throats. <laughs> Livia? Babe, it's just a homework assignment. Our teacher doesn't push for either side. He's just getting us to think outside the box. Well, I think that's wonderful. I think it's still bullshit. But thank you for helping me to understand better, dear. Actually, we've learned a lot. See, most people think that heterosexuality is a choice, but the science is starting to back it up that it's actually from birth and not just some trait. And plus, with the polls that we're conducting, it actually proves that as well. Wait, polls? Where are you finding these heterosexuals that you're questioning? I don't want you associating yourself with those people. Well, we went downtown and... Everything's done online. We don't talk to anyone in person. You know the assignment was to interview actual people. Mr. Haycock even provided contacts. Well, if the topic makes you uncomfortable, I'm sure you could just choose a new one. I think the point is that all the topics are a little uncomfortable in their own way. That's the way I see it. Actually, I'm happy that the topic makes Gavin uncomfortable. It's a little relief to know for a fact that our son's not going to become a hetero. Can we please just change the subject? Yes. How about we finally eat? Now that the dinner I slaved hours to make is most likely cold. Yes. It's a good idea. Uh, Gavin, please serve Tanner first since he's our guest. Mia's our guest too. Oh yes, of course. Sorry, Mia. Oh, it's okay, Olivia. I'd appreciate it if you could call me Mrs. Gray. Uh, so Tanner? Tell us a little more about you. What are your hobbies? Where do you want to go to college? Do you think you might want to get married one day? Mom, uh, I'm pretty simple. I love to read and watch movies, but lately I've been into coffee beans, how they're made, uh, different ways they can be brewed. I love myself a good cup of coffee in the morning. And in the afternoon, and at night. Yes, yes, I'm a coffee addict, I admit it. We'll talk later. Absolutely. As for college, I've been accepted to the Borough College of Gymnastics and Ballet. 
That's amazing. I hear that's a really hard school to get into. Oh, yeah, he's really good. We just saw him at a gymnastics competition last week. Really? Gavin didn't mention that. It's okay. Gymnastics aren't really his thing, I don't think. Gavin isn't into sports, period. Are you shitting me? Watch yourself, young man. I play baseball all the time. You know, I think I actually want to play professionally. Baby, you know boys don't play baseball professionally. We kind of just thought that was a, a hobby. Lord, give me the strength. But it's what I want to do. And I'm really good at it. Yeah, he's really good. Never mind, Lord. Give me more wine. I read LA just signed their first mail to the minor leagues this season. Times are changing. Thank you. See, it's possible. Mia, did you put him up to this? Uh, excuse me? I see you two playing catch out back all the time. I thought that Gavin was the pitcher. Enough. Enough. Tanner, go ahead. Okay. Oh boy, here it comes. Ricky, shut up. Gavin Joseph Gray, would you make me the happiest boy at school and please go with me to prom? This is really sweet, but I need to go refill my drink. Sh should I go talk to him? Uh, no, no, no. They they just need a minute. Tanner, go follow him. Can I go reheat my food? No! I'm sorry, that was probably too much. Everyone at school talks about making a big spectacle of promposals. Maybe I went too big, or did I go too small? No, it was actually really sweet. Then what did I do wrong? Damn it, you didn't do anything wrong, okay? It's me. Gavin, I like you. I've had a crush on you since elementary school, and I've been trying to get you to notice me for years, but it's like you're always looking past me, never right at me. Look, I'm sorry that you feel like I've never noticed you before, but listen, you're perfect in every way, all right? Any guy from school would be lucky to go to prom with you. It's not you, right? I'm sorry. Let me guess, there's someone else? I hope they know how lucky they are. You know, I'm mad. You didn't have to watch this happen tonight. Mad? How could I be mad at you? If your heart isn't set on me, then I don't want to force it. Even if your mothers are trying to force this. That wouldn't be healthy for either one of us. Tanner, thank you so much for understanding. Of course. Goodbye, Gavin. Come on. Just because I'm not interested in having a relationship with you doesn't mean we can't be friends. <laughs> you know, I could actually use a few more of those because I kind of have this thing where I push people away before they ever get a chance to know me. Are you asking me to stay? Well, my mom does make a killer apple pie. So, are you two going to prom now? Yeah, don't leave us hanging. As nice as Tanner's invitation was, I'm just not interested in going. Tanner deserves to have a great time with someone who wants to be there. But why? I want to see my son all done up in a tux looking like a real man. Mom, just drop it. At least for tonight. Fine. We'll table it. For now. Can I go reheat my food? <sighs> yes, for the love of Elton John, just get out of our hair! Okay, so prom is off the table, but... What about a date? Gavin, you're free this weekend. Maybe you could take Tanner to the Playhouse. Oh yes, they have that great ice cream place right next door. That would be so much fun. If it sounds so fun, how about you go? Excuse me? It's really okay. Gavin told me that there's another boy that he likes in school. He should take him. Another boy? Wait, no. So there is a boy after all. I'm sorry, Tanner. This is the first time we're hearing of this. Hold on. Why wouldn't you tell your moms? Was I not supposed to say anything? So, what I think you're saying is that you want to go to prom, just not with Tanner. That makes me feel so much better. Can everyone just stop for a second? Is he someone from your school? Have we met him yet? Actually, I think I should probably get going. Mia, don't go. Uh, I'm sorry, this is not a normal dinner for our family. Like hell it isn't. 
All you do is tell me how to live my life, what to wear, who to date. I know you're my mom, so you're supposed to know what's best for me, but I just wish you'd listen to what I want every once in a while. And what is it that you want? No, Gavin, don't. Mia. What just happened? I have no idea, but I'm gonna need some more wine. I just finished the last bottle. I have a secret stash under the china cabinet. Clever girl. Mia, hold on. No, Gavin. You were right. We can't come out to our families. Your moms will never accept a stray son, and my dads will never accept a stray daughter, and that's just how it is. What are you saying? I'm saying that Tanner is a really great guy. You should give him a shot. You're probably just confused. You may like it. I'm in love with you. There's no way I'm confused about that. Holy shit! Ricky, hold on, please. Just let me explain. Mom's shit! I can't do this. I thought I could, but now that it's actually happening, I, I can't. I'm sorry. Is it true? Is what true? Ricky said he saw you and Mia kiss? No, it was just a kiss on the cheek goodbye. It was nothing more. Don't lie to us. Yeah, you guys were swapping spit. I saw the whole thing. So you went and told moms? Ricky, you're supposed to be my brother. Don't get upset with Ricky. So it is true. And if it is, we will deal with it. Unless you mean taking my belt to beat the straight out of him, I don't know how you want to deal with it. We do not beat our children, Olivia. And it's probably just a phase or some kind of experimentation. Gavin, tell us now. Are you a pervert or are you normal like the rest of society? Did we do something to make you this way? Nothing made me this way. What your mother and I are trying to say is that we want to help you because we love you. Isn't that right? Well, of course I love him, but... But not if I'm straight, right? You want to know who I am? I'm Gavin Joseph Gray, and I'm straight, I'm a pervert, and I'm a goddamn heterosexual. I always have been and I always will be. And I've known I was different and not like other boys ever since I was little. Okay, I like girls. Just how you like chocolate ice cream and can't stand vanilla. And I know it's not normal and I know it's even considered a sin, but it's who I am. I like working on cars and I like playing baseball. And if you take that away from me, if you take away the things that make me, me, it'll no longer be me. No longer be Gavin. No longer be your son. Say something. What exactly do you want us to say? That you make us proud? It's the exact opposite, actually. It's Mia, isn't it? She did something to you. She didn't do anything to me, okay? I love her. Ricky, say something. I hate you! Come on, you don't mean that. How did you think he would react? He's always looked up to you and you dropped this bomb on him? On us? Do you need to talk to someone? Who do I need to talk to? A therapist? You think I'm broken? Yes. No. I can't deal with this right now. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry to interrupt, but I should get going. Uh, yeah, of course. Um, I hope we can count on your discretion while we handle this family matter privately. Yeah, of course. But do you mind if I talk to Gavin for a moment before I go? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm um, just going to go check on Olivia. So is it true? Don't act like you didn't hear everything. I did it, I swear. I just honestly never expected you to be a heterosexual. I didn't think you acted that way. It's because I had to be someone else. I thought I heard you say you were still you. I thought you said you didn't hear anything. You caught me. It would be impossible not to hear anything. You and your family are very loud people. <laughs> not loud, just passionate. 
I know you have a lot going on, but I just wanted you to know that I support you. You don't care that like girls? Uh, I don't understand it fully, but like you said, this is who you are. And I've always thought you were an amazing person. And that's the person I want to be friends with. Besides, you'll need someone on your side once word gets out. And I got your back. Thank you. Don't thank me just yet. You still have to survive your mom's first. But whatever happens, you can come crash at my place. I won't tell my dad's. I really hope it doesn't have to come to that. Well, regardless, I'm here whenever you need a friend. Sorry. Your mother and I were talking. Alice, stop. You're going to get help whether you like it or not. There are places you can go and stay and change you. What, like a conversion camp? I didn't wake up one morning and just decide I want to be straight. Why would I even choose this kind of life if I knew I'd be outcasted? There's no fix to this. You're just going to have to accept it. But what if we can't understand it? Bottom line is, if this is the life you choose, you can no longer have a life with us. You're kicking me out? You're sick. And we want to help you, but you have to be willing. These are our conditions if you want to stay in this house. Plain and simple. We have your brother to think about too, you know. Well, where would I go? That is none of my concern. If you adhere to these rules, you'll have a roof over your head, clothes on your back, and food in your tummy. But you will have none of that if you choose her, a girl that bailed on you at the first sign of trouble. She didn't bail on me. Olivia, stop! Gavin, go to your room! Why? Because I said so! Your mother and I are not finished talking, and you are not helping the situation. Whatever you guys decide, I still love you both. Yeah, okay. Use this time wisely. Mia! No, this is one of Mia's fathers. Can I please talk to Mia? No, Gavin. You can't talk to her. I think it's best that you don't ever talk to her again. What are you talking about? Why? Your mother's already told us everything, and we're disgusted. Mia's going to get the help that she needs. Please, Mr. Pierce, just let me talk to her for one minute. Don't call here again. I'm sorry, Ricky, for not being the big brother that you needed to look up to. I'm sorry, moms, for being a disappointment. I wish that I could have been the picture-perfect son that you always dreamed of having. And for that, I know I'm a letdown to you both. I'm sorry, Mia, that we weren't born in a time where we could be free to love each other without fear of what others would think of us. I'm sorry, Tanner, for ignoring you all those years and giving you false hope. I'm sorry, world, for being born straight. Gavin, can we talk? I'm sorry for saying that I hated you. I was mad and didn't know what to say. Can we please talk? Gavin? Love, Gavin. I'm on one. What's your emergency? It's my son. He hung himself. I think he's dead. Okay, we'll send help immediately. What's your address? 1052 Hillside Drive. Can you check to see if he has a pulse? No, I can't get him down. Hurry. Did anything happen prior to him attempting to harm himself? He, he just told us he was straight and my wife threatened to kick him out. Please help us. Ma'am, 
I'm going to place you on a brief hold. Medic 178, are you on radio? Medic 178 here, go ahead. I need you to head over to 1052 Hillside Drive for a young male self-inflicted hanging. Show us en route. Any other notes? Family states the young male just came out as straight. Uh, copy that dispatch. We're gonna take our time then getting over there. Let nature take its course. Copy that. Try not to catch anything while you're there. Roger that. Ma'am, first responders are on their way. Dispatch, we actually got pulses back. Show us en route to the hospital. <laughs> 